we're going to learn how to make a steamboat. Now, in order to do this experiment, you're going to need a big block of foam, and you're also going to need a piece of copper piping. Now, copper is a good choice because it's soft and bendable. You want it so it's uh, thick enough so that when you bend it, it keeps its shape, but not so thick that you can't bend it at all, okay? And you also will need a razor for shaping your foam block and a fat marker. We're not actually gonna use the marker, we're just gonna use it um, to help us bend our pipe. And you'll also need a heat source. I have a votive candle and I'm gonna use matches when I'm ready for it, so get some adult help with that. And you may want to use a hot glue gun to keep your, kind of tack your candle into place. Okay, here's what we need to do first. What you need to do is you need to take your pipe and you need to make two or three loops in your pipe. Now, starting to bend this around a marker will make this job a lot easier. Okay, so just put a couple of bends in it. And you want these coils to be pretty close together. Now when you're done wrapping, it doesn't have to be perfect. As long as you've got a couple of loops around the marker, you should be able to slide your marker out. If these are spread far apart, just really get in there and squeeze them together. The tails here need to be about the same length. Now if you try and cut it with cutters, you're going to find that it's going to bend your pipe and squish it together. So an easy way to um, do this is actually to use a pipe cutter. So if you use a pipe cutter, this will ensure that um, the end of your pipe doesn't get squished because we want water to flow through here. Okay. Now if you don't have a pipe cutter, you just want to score around and around the pipe very gently until you've actually worked the whole thing um, off, just like this. Okay, so they're about the same length. I've got a couple of loops and now I'm ready to add this to my boat. Now you need to turn your foam block into a boat. Now how you do that is really up to you. You can just leave it as a foam block or you can kind of cut a bow here um, and kind of shape it like a boat. You can even um, carve out some inside. That's gonna be totally up to you. I'm just gonna leave this as a block and I'm gonna show you how to actually make the boat go. How you shape the boat is totally up to you. Okay. Uh, first off though, my boat is too long. So I'm gonna cut it in half. And it's also too thick, so I'm going to cut it in half the hard way. Okay, so here's my little boat. Now what I need to do is I'm going to insert my tubes through the boat so they go through the boat and out the back. I need these tubes to stay underwater uh, the whole time. Okay, so go ahead and do that. And make sure that your tubes didn't get clogged with foam. If they did, just pick it out. And then we're gonna go ahead and bend the tubes so they're kind of parallel with the boat. That's it, so I've got my two little tubes sticking out and they come up or over these tubes and down, okay? Now I'm gonna put my candle here. I'm just gonna use a tiny bit of hot glue just to tack it into place. So as soon as I place my boat in the water, the first thing I notice is that it wants to flip all the way over. Okay, and that's not going to work too well. <laughs> so what I can do is actually change the shape of my boat so it's more balanced or even add a little bit of weight. Go ahead and do that with your boat first. So my boat has little wings on the side now and that's providing enough stability so it doesn't want to flip over. My next task is to fill the entire tube length with water. You can either hold uh, one of the tubes under one, running water until water starts to squirt out the other side, or you can pretend this is a straw and suck water all the way up through it. Go ahead and do that, and then as soon as they're done, uh, as soon as they're filled with water, put your finger over the edges and submerge them into the water. Go ahead and get some grown-up help lighting your candle. You might also want to use your lighter to help you warm the tubes so you don't have to wait nearly as long. Go ahead and hold on to your boat, and when you feel it start to vibrate and shake and maybe even make a little putt-putt sound, you know that it's the uh, motor is starting to work. 
Once you feel your boat wanting to go, you'll see it start to shake and vibrate, and then go ahead and let it go, and it'll go round and round your bathtub. And as soon as I light the candle, it's gonna start to heat the water inside of my tubes here. And as soon as it does that, it, that water is gonna turn into a gas. It's gonna turn into steam and shoot out the back. As soon as it shoots out the back, now there's nothing left in here. We've actually got a small vacuum, which is gonna pull more fresh cold water from the bathtub up the other side. And it'll sit there until it gets warm enough and then it'll shoot out the back as soon as it gets hot enough to expand into steam. And when it expands, remember, it creates a little vacuum in here. There's nothing in there, so more water rushes in. This cycle is going to continue, and every time you hear a put, 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 put sound, because that's the sound this boat's going to make, it, um, that's actually the steam getting blown out the back. So go ahead and fill up your bathtub, and let's see what we find.